so you finally have a mark you've always wanted one since you were a little girl or boy or whatever one and zero thing you call yourself in the u.m but you just can't find those apps to make you get the most out of your mark lucky for you when i bought a mark a couple years ago i already went through this on your behalf and i developed the steroid formula for mac OS. steroid it's just a fancy way of me telling you that there are a couple apps that when you use on your mac in a combination would exponentially reduce the chances of you returning back to a crowd striking windows <laughs> Good times and also increase the chances of you clicking my sub button all right let's get on business we need an app first of all to keep your desktop environments clean right i mean that's like the first place you interact with when you open the lid of your mac let's talk about the menu bar for a moment there is an app called bartender heard of it bartender tends to your menu bar just as like the name suggests you could finally hide all those nasty looking clustering cut off icon and only display them when you want to click them the next is the browser yeah there's a reason i'm talking about that browser because everyone needs a website browser right i mean without that you can't even harness half the potential of your wi-fi it's arc browser no doubt there is no second guessing that on mac os it's just the best browser i've ever seen in a mac i just can't get anything else to change my mind at least not yet though you know, it's so good I had to make a video dedicated just to it, yeah. Check it up here or down there in the description of my YouTube video. Let's move over to file management, yeah. I think that brings us to the most powerful app I've ever seen on a Mac. Next, the activity monitor, of course. Yeah, nothing beats the activity monitor. Clean my Mac X. This app tells you literally everything about your MacBook. I mean everything. What's connected, what's been wirelessly sent and received, what's taking the most space, what's a virus or threat, that I don't really listen to, what's part of it. It also gives the best level of detail about where exactly the space consumption is. And that's not all. You can update all your apps from it. You can do a proper app on installation, also from it. And I mean proper. It removes every directory the app created while it was installed. Wipes the slates clean. Speaking of files, of course, we need to download most of our files on the internet. Well, allow me to introduce the best download manager I've ever seen on a MacBook. Neat Download Manager. All you need to do to get it is install its extension in any Chromium browser or any browser that has that extension in its extension webs. And also install the Neat Download Manager app on your MacBook. That's like the app helper that works together with the extension to send your files from the browser into the app and then to the local storage of your laptop. Let's talk about your desktop environment once more. Your windows are in what shape? Right, a rectangle. Currently on macOS, that's macOS Sonoma. You can't really arrange or snap your windows into place to take either this corner, that corner, this corner or that corner of your display. But we are going to fix that. By the way, you can do that on macOS Secure though, but it's still in beta so it doesn't really count and it's a bigger hassle to do it because you have to hold the option key and then drag it that's too manual come on tech has gone too far what's up app with the rectangle app all it takes is but the click of a few keyboard shortcuts you can pre-program to do this 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 and this again on file management if you have used mac os half as well as i have you'd observe that with the system allowance and capabilities you can only extract zip archives easily yeah you can't really extract rar archives easily with winzip or winzip pro that problem fades away winzip is an app that lets you extract both zip and rar files unlike the archives you see it's that's inbuilt that only allows you to extract zip files that's the problem a couple of movies i download come in those RAR, not zip. Come on, Apple. This shouldn't be hard to implement. All right, enough file talk. Let's go by others. Do you want that free VPN service that's unlimited and doesn't fail? And it's quite reliable from my experience of using it for like about two years right now. That's where Proton VPN comes in. Yeah, Proton, Atop, Proton, whatever. That VPN service lets you browse as long as you want with a couple restricted servers but thankfully there is that for netherlands among them and netherlands netherlands server generally boosts networks yeah 
I've used this for a couple of stuff. Sometimes it even makes my download faster. Yeah. The only downside is that it adds latency. That's expected with VPNs. But you see, upload and download doesn't fail. You should give that a try if you need free VPNs. Yeah. If you're a student or you're trying to connect to a website that's not available in your country or something like that, and you need a way to just, you know, bypass that and move on your life.